Alrighty folks, it is your boy Seppopay here coming at you guys with another vlog. I am currently playing a practice round at Winthrop Gold and I'm about to get to hole 13 and I just wanted to show this hole to you guys. I'm gonna show this hole and 17. These are I think a couple of the more unique or most recognizable holes on the layout. So we're gonna get good look on those holes. Alright, so we are now on hole 13 and uh, we have two different pin locations. We have A and B. A is going to be 999 feet and B pin is going to be 888 feet. The first shot we're going to be landing around over there where those two guys are at. And then you can choose to either go for the second shot into the island or still play around uh, and play for uh, maybe more safe four. But I'm actually with a little bit bigger arm going for the island with second shot. But uh, Let's see how it goes with my D1. So I landed here right past the 500 feet sign and we have the green right there. We have the parking lot that we gotta get over. If you do not get over and you end up out of bounds, you gotta throw from here with stroke and distance penalty shot. I'm just trying to get into the island. We have those two different basket locations there, but I'm not honestly trying to get close to either of them. I'm just trying to get in bounds and have an easy birdie from there. Uh, I'm gonna throw the same D1 as I did on the tee shot. is a very safe play it's not really putting for either maybe i can give it a little bit of a run for the a location that's at 999 feet but it pretty much is just the easy birdie for me so actually on hole 13 i ended up taking the eagle i just putted with my bag on and filmed with my left hand and you saw the pot, but we're now on hole 17. This is another really recognizable hole on the layout. Second last hole, even if you're playing a really good round, you're five down or something like that, you can never relax until you're done with this hole. We have only 250 feet to play. We have two different basket locations, but if you miss the island, you're gonna have to re-tee. If you miss it again, you're gonna have to re-tee again and try your third time. If you miss it again, you're going to get to the drop zone by the basket about 45 feet away from the basket to go for your seven. But a uh, really stressful hole, sidearm plays the best, I think, uh, because of just the shape of the island. And uh, you can also lay up here short if you're not feeling it, but I think most of the players are going to be going for it. I'm going for the sidearm with my A2. And I'm really not even trying to get close to the basket, especially for the left basket position. I'm just really trying to get in bounds a little bit farther to the right. And that's all I'm going for. I'm probably 30, five feet away from the A position and I'm pretty close to the B position but that's a perfect shot for me and I will take that around. And that's how you get a birdie and eagle on these two holes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next week.